How to use an annular cutter in a drill press. All right, we purchased this Nico six-piece annular cutter set. And while I'm thinking about it, I want to tell you that on, on their website, they do tell you that when you put this in a drill press and you're using it to cut, that you want to keep a pressure on it. If you let the pressure off, you're going to work hard in a piece of metal and you'll never be able to cut it. So you want to keep a nice steady, firm but not too firm pressure on this to keep the cut going. Um, on these annular cutters, you'll look, you'll see two sides are flat. So that's not going to fit in a drill and work. And what we need to do is cut into this piece of stainless and make some nice clean 5 16 holes. What you have to do is purchase what's called a, well, first of all, these, these shanks are called Weldon shanks. That's a three quarter inch Weldon, W-E-L-D-O-N shank. And what you need to do is purchase this tool made from, get their name here, AccuSize. That you can see right here, I got this off of Amazon. Make this easier to see. Got this off of uh, Amazon, and it's an AccuSize MT2, which is the size of the the shank on that, uh, to three quarter inch welding shank, which is the size on our annular cutters. Uh, and it also has a coolant system for the drill press. Uh, their number is an MC10-0002. It's about $88, but that's what you need to purchase to make this work in the drill press. All right, now here's where the issue comes in in the drill press. Normally, your drill press will be 